Hello, Happy New Year. I know it has been a very difficult year. Uh, last year was very difficult for us. But hopefully, this new year will be a good one. I am Massa, the parish nurse at Canterbury Baptist Church. Today, I just want to quickly talk to you about the five steps to mental well-being. The NHS five steps to mental well-being. Number one, connecting with other people. Number two, being physically active. Number three, learning new skills. Number four, giving to others. And number five, being mindful of the present moments, which is mindfulness. But today I'm going to talk to you about connecting with other people the importance of connecting with others. When we connect with others, we feel valued, we feel loved, we feel accepted. So during this lockdown, all hope is not lost. We still have our families, friends, or even those who are living on their own. You may not have a lot of people around you. There are a lot of things out there now most groups that we're meeting face to face you need to go on google find out what is happening in your local area most groups that we're meeting face to face are now offering zoom me meetings or video calls to people so find a group and connect yourself with like us the renew group at canterbury baptist church we are meeting every Friday afternoon. Now, because of the government's restrictions, we are meeting on Zoom. If you want to have more information, go on the Canterbury Baptist Church website. You can get more information on how you can join our group. It is very important as parents for us to take this time to get to know our children, to spend time with our children because they are not in school. So we need to spend time with them for us to pick out or know how this lockdown is affecting them or if there are other things they are struggling with. How do we connect with our children? I'm a mother myself. I have two boys and a teenage girl. With me, what I do is when my boys are asleep, I steal and I hide the Xbox cable because they spend a lot of time on the Xbox. And when they are playing their video games, the time I spend with them is very limited because their attention is only on their video game. So I'll hide the Xbox cable for a few days just to get to spend time with them. We watch comedies on YouTube. They, I watch them play boxing. I'll be a, a, the commentator where they play in the boxing. And I also monitor how they play with other, with each other. We, when we monitor them, we get to pick out things that we need to start dealing with at an early age. I got to pick out that one of my boys feels that they are fat. I don't know how or why he felt that way, but because the elder, the elder one was telling him that he was fat because the elder one, no matter what he eats, he, can't, he does not put on weight. He is still very underweight. So I picked that out. And I have started dealing with that by explaining to the younger one, you know, everyone come in different shapes and sizes. So it is so, so important for us to spend time with our children. Again, with my teenage daughter, like, you know, teenagers sometimes disconnect themselves away from the family by spending a lot of time on their phone, on their laptop, in their room. So what do I do? I work nights. I'm a nurse. I work nights. The first priority is when I enter my home, 
is to go to my teenager's bedroom greet her look at her see how she is and i know from her attitude and her behavior i can pick out if there's anything wrong and um, when she is spending loads of time in the bedroom not coming out what i do to be honest i disturb her i will call her like 10 times within 10 minutes just for her to come out i just want to, i just want to know that she is okay then finally she gets the message to say mommy wants to spend some time with me then she'll come out and spend time with her family you speak to her ask her if she's you know i, I speak to her and ask her if she's uh, connecting with her friends is she maintaining the relationship with her friends now from what she tells me i can gather what sort of relationship she has with her friends if there's anything going on is there any bullying going on so it is so important to connect to spend this time with our children monitor them get to know how they feel i hope and i pray that this has been helpful and the other thing I quickly want to mention for those of us who are Christians we need to from an early age teach the children how to connect with God how to build a personal relationship with God because we don't pray for it as parents or there may be a time in their life when we cannot reach out to them or they cannot reach out to us but if they know about the love of God, they will be able to reach out to God and know that no matter what issues that they may have, God is always going to be there for them. I hope it's been helpful. Thank you.